Hello and welcome to today's video. In this gripping episode, we'll dive deep into the fascinating story of the FP-45 Liberator, an iconic symbol of resistance during World War II. Conceived in the darkest hours of the conflict, this humble weapon had a significant impact on the course of the war. So buckle up and get ready to embark on a thrilling journey through history as we explore the origins, design, and legacy of this remarkable firearm. In the tumultuous opening chapters of World War II, a colossal obstacle loomed before the Allies. With the Axis juggernaut steam rolling across Europe, the once formidable British and French military powerhouses found themselves staggering. In a daring 11th hour gamut, the United States Office of Strategic Services OSS, and British Special Operations Executive SOE, hatched a scheme to equip resistance fighters in occupied lands with an unpretentious, readily producible weapon. The goal, to provide ordinary citizens with the tools to defy their oppressors, even with scarce resources and scant training. Born of necessity, the FP-45 Liberator sprang from the mines at the Inland Manufacturing Division of General Motors Corporation, guided by the steady hand of George Hyde. This rudimentary yet effective design encompassed a mere 23 stamped and turned components. Its defining characteristic, a single-shot, 45 caliber smoothbore barrel devoid of rifling, confining its accuracy to a meager effective range of roughly 25 feet. But sniping was never its raison d'etre. The Liberator's true mission was to enable resistance fighters to eliminate enemy combatants at a stone's throw and commandeer their more advanced weaponry. The elegance of the FP-45 Liberator's design paved the way for swift, economical production. Impressed, the U.S. government granted a contract to the Guide Lamp Division of General Motors. In a staggering three months, they churned out over a million Liberators. At a paltry $2.10 per unit, this pistol earned the title of the most affordable weapon manufactured during the war. The assembly line hummed with such efficiency that a mere 6.6 .6 man-hours sufficed to craft a single Liberator. The FP-45 Liberator's true dissemination remains cloaked in the mists of history. Initially, the vision was to shower these firearms upon resistance fighters entrenched behind enemy lines from the skies above, complete with user manuals. Alas, logistical hurdles and fears of weapons falling into nefarious hands meant that only a fraction of the assembled units ever saw action. Historians estimate that approximately 25,000 Liberators rained down upon France, with an indeterminate number reaching other nations. Though its distribution was scant, the FP-45 Liberator has cemented its place as a stirring emblem of defiance and a tribute to the resourcefulness of wartime manufacturing. It etched a modest yet indelible mark on the annals of World War II, bestowing upon resistance fighters the power to rise against their occupiers. Thank you so much for joining us in exploring the incredible tale of the FP-45 Liberator. We hope you found the story as captivating and inspiring as we did. If you enjoyed this video, Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're hungry for more engaging content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest uploads. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the fascinating world of history.